Hi YouTube, it's your girl Ash and today I am back with another video and today's video is a January, February wrap up and a book haul. I did not read a lot of books in the month of January and February and because I have reviews on almost all of them, the video would have been very short so I decided to just add them to my March book haul. So I'm going to quickly go over my January, February wrap up and all the links to book reviews will be in the description down below. So let's get started. Up first is Shadow Me, book one in the Shadow Me trilogy by Tahara Mafi, five stars. Next is This Is Where I Leave You by Jonathan Troper, four stars. Next is still the best book this year so far, The Chemist by Stephanie Meyer, five stars. And I also had an ebook, which was Him, book one in the Him duology by Serena Bowman and L. Kennedy, and that was five stars also. Okay, let's get into this book haul because there are a lot of books. Up first is The Program by Suzanne Young. This story follows Salone. She lives in a world where suicide is an international epidemic. And if you show any signs of being depressed or sad and stuff like that, they send you to this program. Only problem is, is that the program literally wipes you clean. You have no memories, no emotions. So Salone and her... I guess boyfriend James are trying to do everything that they can for each other not to show any signs of sadness or depression so that they don't have to go into the program but they're failing at it they both um, start to realize that depression is setting in and that the program is coming for them this is book one in the series this came on my radar because Goodreads was giving away Book three, I don't know if this is a trilogy or not. I didn't read the synopsis for three. And so I'm excited to get this. I got this at the thrift store for 50 cents. Up next is a book I got because I wanted this year to get more into memoirs. And every list of powerful slash funny women who have come out with memoirs this was on it and i'm currently reading it and it is yes please by amy polar i am soon to being finished if you can see i got this at the thrift store for a dollar and i love it i've laughed at it i love her comedic timing i love so much about this i love the story she chose and it is amazing, and now it makes me think that those lists were 110% accurate. So now I want to read Lady Boss by Tina Fey. Is Everyone Hanging Out Without Me by Mindy Kaling, and The Girl with the Lower Back Tattoo by Amy Schumer. So if you have any more um, memoirs by funny, powerful women or please let me know in the, just the comment box the comment section excuse me down below because I'm trying to get into more memoirs this year up next is a book I got because I saw that it had a little bit of controversy and I wanted to see for myself it's been called biphobic and um if I'm not mistaken that it doesn't actually say the word by in it and that is the Bermuda's Triangle by Maureen Johnson. I got it because it was cheap. I got it for $3.50 at, at McKay's. So it says life lifelong best friends Nina Avery and Mel face their first separation the summer before their senior year when Nina attends a 10-week program at Stanford. But how much can happen in 10 weeks? Plenty it seems. Nina finds herself blindsided by Steve but there's a long distance relationship and then she finds out that Mel and Avery um have kissed 
while she's gone. I guess they're having a relationship. I don't want to say too much because I don't want to spoil it for myself. And if you haven't read it, and this video is going to be long anyway, but I'm pretty sure there are tons of reviews on it if you want to, you know, hear what people think about it. Up next is Push, which is backwards. Push by Sapphire. This is what the movie Precious is based on. It follows Precious Jones, who is a 16-year-old illiterate girl, and she suffers rape from her father. She has two kids. This is a very hard to swallow book. So if you if you can't really take that, it may be triggering to you. I wouldn't suggest reading this, but I just picked it up because I tried one time in middle school because believe it or not, we had it at our middle school library, but it was the paperback and back then it seemed so big to me. Now it's like really small. It's less than, I think it's less than 200 pages. So that'll be a quick read for me. Next is a book I got because I have this list of LGBTQIA books I want to read this year. And this was on the list. And I happened to find it for $5 at, at McKay's. And it is The Five Stages of Andrew Briley by Sean David Hutchinson. I'm so excited because I want to read his We Are the Ants and At the Edge of the Universe that I think comes out this year. So I'm so excited to get it. It's short. It'll be a quick read. And if I'm not mistaken, it will clear a spot on my diversity bingo board. So I'm happy about that. Okay, I think this is the last one. Let me see. No, it's not. Okay, let me do this one and leave this for last. Next is a book I got because... So many people hype this book up on YouTube. I'm hoping I'm not disappointed. It also helps me clear a spot on my diversity bingo. And it was a New York Times bestselling book for a long time. And that is All the Lights We Cannot See by Anthony Doerr. I got this for $10. It is thick. It's like over 500 pages. And I think this clears the spot of a visually impaired main character. The girl in this book that it follows, Marie, is blind. It follows Marie and Warner, if I'm not mistaken. Yes. Yeah. And it says, Doer's stunning sense of physical detail and gorgeous metaphors are dazzling deftly interweaving the lives of Marie, Lori, and Warner. He illuminates the ways against all eyes. People try to be good to one another. Ten years in the writing, All the Lights We Cannot See is a magnificent, deeply moving novel from a writer whose sentences never fail to thrill. And so I'm very excited to see if the YouTube hype and the real world hype is what's true. I'm ready. It's going to be big. I don't know where I'm going to get to it. Yeah, let me make sure. One, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, I think that's it. Up next is the last book. And it's a book I won from a Goodreads review. So I would like to thank Goodreads and the wonderful people at St. Martin's Press and Roshani Chotsky for allowing me the opportunity to read this book before it comes out. And I will have a spoiler-free review, if I'm not mistaken, the day it comes out. And then a little later after that, I will have a spoiler review. And that is A Crown of Wishes by Roshani Chotsky. It is a companion novel, but you do not have to read them together to a star, a star touch queen this book comes out on the 28th and it follows to two totally different people so like i said you do not have to read a star touch queen before i'm excited to get to it it is kind of big i think it yeah it's like 400 pages so be on the lookout for my review i'm going to turn my camera because there's no way all of these are going to fit in it. 
Okay. So, with me in it. Woo! Okay, so that is my book call for March and my wrap up. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to follow me on all of my social media link down below. If you feel inclined to do so, please subscribe. Please share this video. It will be graciously appreciated. It is so it means so much to me when you share because sharing helps me out so much. And as always, until we meet again, bye.